Hey guys, what's going on, and welcome to the Kerbal Space Program Let's Play. And as you guys know, I did say that I was going to stay away from Let's Plays, but not completely if you guys didn't pick up on that. Also, something that I'd like to say is I'm done with story-based Let's Plays because I wasn't having any, having any fun doing that. I was only really having fun playing games like Kerbal or Minecraft or games like that. So I'm going to stick to these normal, not very, very story-based, fun, open-world, sandbox games because it's just... Uh, that's that's more fun to do let's plays on and I will only be doing let's plays on Monday there's only one other series that I'm er, on Sunday sorry I had to switch my uh, my schedule up but um on Sunday I will be doing let's plays every single Sunday and uh, there's one other game that I'm gonna do one on but that's going to be next Sunday also guys I'm doing what I like to call stream let's plays now which is on Thursday and Friday if I'm not mistaken and it's basically let's just like a 30 minute stream real quick get it out of the way and we just play a game and uh, we continue playing that game versus on the uh, Saturday streams which are extra long and not very short at all because yeah that's a long stream that the words don't want to come out of my face but yeah wow I can't talk I'm just going to give up. I will see you guys in game. Okay, guys, we are in game of Kerbal Space Program. We're on the career mode, as you guys can probably tell. If I was to go into this one, you can see I have a one capsule, and hey, I was told that I only got boosters. Liar. I guess I, oh, I can't use this liquid engine yet, and I barely get anything, really. Not that much at all, but it's fine, because I'm just going to play career and we'll see how it goes. If it gets boring, then I will switch to a sandbox game and I'll just have fun and screw around and everything. But uh, I was told that what I should start with is just this capsule and I should name it something like Ugh, because it doesn't even matter. But I want to name it something interesting because I name everything instantly in interesting. So I'm going to name it Scien scientific. Scientific. Spelt like that. No, no eyes. We may not have vowels. Vowels are for losers. Scientific one. Okay. Let's save this rocket because, you know, we might one day want to use just a capsule again. And we're going to get some science points by doing EVA reports and such. So first thing I want to do is eject you, Jedediah. Space, let go. Okay, so I'm on the floor. Let's do this. Let's get to the over there. Well, first, hang on. Can I, uh, can I do an EVA report? Let's do that. EVA report. I don't think there was. I don't think the spacesuit was okay. So did I earn anything from it? Um. Yeah, I got 2.4 science. Okay. I've never done this before, guys. So you're gonna have to forgive me for uh, the lack of knowledge that I have and such. So EVA propulsion. Yep. I totally am gonna use that at this moment. So this is gonna take a little bit because, of course, Kerbins walk extremely slow when not in space. So this is fun to do. So guys, I was told two things. First of all, I recycled the EVA experiment and I didn't keep it, so I had to redo that, I guess. So EVA report, and then I just click keep data, and then this, and keep data, then plant the flag. Yes! Um, take a surface sample. Yes, our flag. Mm, yes, yes. That was really, really not necessary. Well, now we have a flag on the Earth, which is nice, considering that everybody needs a, their flag on the Earth. Also, why am I the only person? Like, this space station is the only thing left <laughs> of of the everything. It's like that was. I love this Kerman. He is hilarious. We he just eats it every time. This is fit. <gasps> we ow. Oh, this is just wonderful. I am enjoying this too much. Okay, so I'm gonna get back in the spaceship and then evacuate or not evacuate, but pick up the vessel and then maybe we'll try to get into space with some newly researched science points. So let's do that. Okay, guys, we have recovered the vessel and gotten some science points. Isn't that just fantastic? So this is the place that I want to go, if I'm not mistaken. And I can get basic rocketry by go away rampage. I need to click something down there. Research. And do I I have six science left, so I can go for general, I can go for aerodynamics or stability, or survive no, that takes fifteen science. Twenty oh geez. I didn't realize how much this was. We only have six. Okay. Well then, 
Looks like we've only got some basic rocketry, so let's go build a ship. Here we have our very first rocket to ever be put in space. I'm naming it the Arc-1, and it is all ordered and all ready to go. You guys saw me build it. It's very, very small, and we've got some mystery goo. Mmm, mystery goo. Let's do this. So, guys, I uh, researched the mystery goo, and so we're going to keep the data, and let's, let's fly. Now, if I research it again, what will happen? Reset goo canister, view data, observe mystery goo. Let's redo that. Let's see what it's doing now. Jew giggles and wagga bobbles at the craft files. That's just fun. This game has a great sense of humor. Keep data. So we're getting into space, and I'm just going to speed up time a little bit until I am about at uh, 10,000 or so. Okay, guys, I quickly noticed that I'm actually running out of fuel. I wasn't even throttling it very much. But now, still going up? I guess we are. Losing speed, though, so maybe we want to just not let's just start to get the fall and we will land this what does this one do here that sets off a rocket i don't want a rocket set off okay let's do this just to be safe okay falling we're falling we're hurtling towards the surface let's decouple okay there we go let's have our parachute ready to go. Hopefully it'll save us. It probably won't. Let's hope it does. Let's hope that it does. Probably won't save us considering that we're going at a relatively fast speed, but we are losing speed. Um, let's see. Okay, come on, come on. Yes! It did save us. This is awesome. Just a quick speed up time until we can land right here now. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, guys, so the mystery goo did break off, so we didn't get a save, but uh, we did get this science, so that's pretty great. I don't know if we can research anything yet, but probably not, so that kind of sucks. Let's just check anyways. Nope, it takes 15 for the least, and we only have 11, so I'm going to work back on building the Ark 2, and I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, so I have created and saved the Ark Mark 2. All it really is is a second fuel tank. It's no big deal, and the order should be in the proper order, and the mystery goo... We're all ready to go. But this time, I think we're actually going to be traveling to a different biome rather than to space. Because that'll get us some science points, and the science will help us get to space. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, guys, here we are, and this is what we're doing. We're going to be landing in this desert biome right here from this Kerbin Space Program right here. So, let's do this. Okay, so uh, I'll give you guys a countdown in a little bit, but first of all, I want to go do something. Okay, guys, we're ready to launch in 10... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Well, that was pretty fun. I actually felt like a NASA rocket engineer or something like that. Let's try to keep it so that I'm still going up, still gaining speed, not losing fuel too quickly because we have to make it all the way there. And to do that, we probably are going to have to get to about 3,000 altitude. So, let's be careful with what we're doing. Oh, you seem so happy, Jedediah Kerman. I'm happy for you that you get to fly in this wonderful spaceship. Isn't this so fun? I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a lot of fun. So I'm going to speed this up until I get to 3,000. Okay, guys, here we are at 3,000. Let's start turning now. And we want to make sure that my arch directly will go over everything and hit that desert biome so in order to do that we're probably going to want to put it right about there the tilt and continue going up uh i don't i think we might run out of fuel first but not to worry because something will save us i don't know what will save us but something will so this is not going too great considering that can I turn SAS on? Or will I? Okay, still have to fight with the ship a little bit. Um, not even close. But at least we've gotten this far. Isn't this what matters? 
how far we've gotten so far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna decouple and use this rocket now. And <laughs> we're a tiny little ship flying now. Tiny, tiny little ship. And it turns really quickly because it's so small. Don't know if we're ever gonna land in that desert biome, but if we do, that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, there are mountains there. I guess I could let, try to land on those. Or maybe I could keep going and possibly hit the desert biome. Uh, don't tilt. It's hard to go into the map because it tilts so much, and if I'm not being careful, oh, I'll lose it. Stop. Stop. Uh, turn SAS on. Will not do anything? Does a little bit. Not too much. Um, it's expanding. Okay, I'm gonna throttle down now. No, that's throttling up. Not good, not good, not good. Okay, so I'm gonna try to land on these mountains, in fact. So let's do a little bit of this maneuver. Let's see if I can land on these guys. If I can, that'd be great. Okay. Throttle. Oh, uh, I'm out of fuel. Well, that's not good. I mean, this might be a different biome. There's always the possibility, though it's unlikely. It might be. So let's just speed up a little bit until we're ready to deploy the parachutes, which is not that soon, but soon enough. Wait, That was so fun. Okay, let's stop now and deploy the parachute and then speed up some more and watch us land with effortless glory and probably end up the same oh wow that that was intense right there oh because i'm speeding it up and okay i was worried there i was like what am i not recording this boom boom well these fell off again okay let's evacuate so that uh let's turn this time warp off go off okay come on out jedediah let's see what can we do with you eva report okay keep data and take surface sample. This is dirt and grass and some small rocks. You suspect this you suspect this isn't going to be much of a groundbreaking discovery. This game has a wonderful sense of humor. So let's go and what's that over there? Sprint! I will get to it. Okay, apparently that's my space station. Let's go back to the ship, get in and have myself be recovered as the first man to ever go in a rocket. Though maybe not a successful rocket, but a rocket at that. Okay, is this where the ladder is? Is this how I get in? F to grab, F to board, this. Well, awesome. We have some science stuff, EVA reports, surface sample, all that stuff. Vessel survived that flight. Okay, that's good. And how much science do we have now? 23? Holy crap, we can get general rocketry now. That's awesome. Okay, so now we have some more rockets, rocket parts, and we might be actually able to get somewhere this time. So that's going to be great. Let's do this. Okay, guys, this is our new rocket. And actually, one thing that I would like to do before we get started, and I'll do this on camera because I see no reason not to, is this. Because we've had quite the problem with that in the past. So let's do that instead. And that way we won't have to worry about losing anything because we've also put these on the capsule. So we won't have any problems with the parachute anymore and we won't explode the ship when we land so we'll save and let's do this okay so with a quick test that I ran on flying with these boosters it made it almost to space and I since I didn't want to go to space on off camera I basically just went straight down with the engine I exploded yeah okay let's do this in 10 9 8 7 Six, five, four, three, two, one. Look at how fast this goes with these new boosters. So our only goal here is it's probably very loud and I'm trying to talk over it. Our only goal here is to get into space and nothing else. We're not going to orbit the Earth. We're not doing anything but getting into space. So I should probably check up on this mystery goo and see what's going on. Okay, okay that's good. Once we get into space, we'll check out that mystery you just because we have a of points for tanks of it. So, probably should have researched it back when we were down there, but I didn't. It doesn't really matter all too much. So, we're almost out of fuel with these boosters, and we're almost to space, actually. So, that's awesome. So, once we run out, it'll probably be a lot quieter now. Let's just trigger this, and we'll probably keep going up, but we might lose some 
and I'm still rolling weird, so it's really hard to control because of the turn that's happening here, but I don't know how to fix that. I don't know if I, like, use the arrow keys, but that's probably to rotate this, yeah. So, okay, so we're almost into space. I'd say that we're just about into space. Let's keep going up and keep getting into space, I guess. It actually went really, really fast with those boosters. Faster than I thought it would have. So, that's awesome. So, we'll go until this fuel canister runs out, and then we won't have any problem because all we'll have to do is go straight down to Earth because we'll be so high that, or so low that it won't even matter. So, Jedediah Kerman is about to be the first man to enter the rooms and the area of the spaces. And that's awesome for Jedediah, but, and awesome for Earth. So, he's like the Alan Shepard of Kerbin. How great is that, Jedediah? You get to be Alan Shepard. He's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. So, our fuel is just about to run out, and it's out. Welcome to space. Maybe this one is really easy to manipulate. As you'll, Okay, I can erase this one. I don't need this one. I'll put this at the end. As you can probably tell, watch this. Ready? Whoa, no, no. Didn't mean to do that. Well, shit. Okay, so we appear to be still going up. And I don't think that there's any chance in the world that we're in orbit. We'll go up, and then we'll fall. Space! Space! space. Mystery goo! I forgot. Sorry, my brother reminded me. He's in the room. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, got it. Observe. Goo seems to be getting very cold right now. Observe. Very cold. We've kept all the data of being in space with the mystery goo, and we have no way to slow my stuff from hitting the ground. This might end up horribly bad. V uh, re entry. Not good. Parachute. Slow myself down just a little bit with this. Come on. I can land this. Let's do this. Slowing down. Slowing down. Deploy. Space and back. Yes! Awesome. That's great. I'm so happy about that. So, right when we land, I'll hop out and I will check out everything. Uh, and I didn't even crash. Let's get out with Jedediah Kerman. Okay, so, oh wow, oh, time sped up, that's right. Okay, so let's see, uh, what do I want to do with you? I want to take a surface sample, yep, looks like dirt, and an EVA report. Okay, so that's getting us a ton of science, and with this, we may or may not be able to get back into space, but this time, maybe even get into orbit. We'll see. So let's recover the vessel, and when we get back to the space station, we'll see how much science we got. Plus nine science, oh jeez, we got a ton. How awesome is that? Why did the Sir Kerbin's grassland got us more science than observing mystery goo in space? Did I even go to space? No, I only went to the upper atmosphere. That's disappointing. Okay, well, we have a total of 30 science, and I believe that I can now research this or something like, uh... I don't know, I'll, I'll decide and then I'll come back on camera. Okay guys, we're going to get stability, which gives us side decouplers, this and this one. We're not going to use either of this. Uh, we just want them so that we can have all of this stuff. So we're going to get this, and then now we can actually get this. And what is this? This looks cool. Oh, this is like flight control for planes, I guess. That's pretty cool. So that's how far we've gotten in the game. Um, I'm not sure how long it's been but I'm assuming it's been a pretty long episode, even with all the speed, speedy uppies and s jump cuts and such. So I'm going to see you guys later. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, please don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.